What's up guys, my name is WK Tramp, and today I'm going to be bringing you a squad builder episode. Now in this squad builder we've got a sort of Colombian slash Syria slash Belgian league uh, hybrid. Um, I really like this team, it's got a couple of silvers, you know, mainly gold, but three silvers and an inform as well. Um, and it's quite a nice hybrid, it's a bit unusual to be honest. Um, but you know, it's got some players that I really like and some others that I really wanted to try out. Uh, stuff like that but um, yeah let's get into it so in goal we have Marchetti he is a very good goalkeeper uh, if I have to be honest in this team he wasn't all that great but I've had him in other teams and he's been very very good um, really all that made him different in this team is he made mistakes in this team um, and in other teams he doesn't make mistakes like the, the, the I mean other teams that I've had he never really made mistakes he was a very solid goalkeeper um, but you could also get Buffon if you have the coins. I did, but I didn't really want to spend them. Um, but yeah, I mean, purely because I think Marchetti is a very, very good keeper anyway. Uh, so I didn't really want to spend unnecessary coins. Um, but yeah, Marchetti, great keeper. I would definitely recommend him. Right back, we have Abate. This guy is really bought purely because of his pace. He's probably my favourite right back in the game. Um, again, purely because of his pace. You know, he, he can get back, catch up with the majority of strikers and wingers in the game and um, outpace, you know, he's very attacking. He has a high attacking work rate, I think. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he, he outpaces most left backs if you want to go attacking with him. Um, and, you know, yeah, from corners, counter attacks, just pass it to him. He undoubtedly probably will be your fastest player in your team. Um, just run up that wing. A bit sweaty, but oh well, that's uh, one of his pluses and pros that you can uh, do that with him. Um, so yeah, Abate, very, very good right back. Uh, moving on to the two centre-backs now, I'm going to do both at the same time. We have Ogbonna and Perea. Um, now, Perea has 82 pace, Ogbonna has 80. Uh, Ogbonna is probably the more defensive, like, his defending is 81 and heading 82, and he's much bigger, he's like 6 foot 2. Uh, whereas Pereira is only 5 foot 11, which is quite small to be honest, um, with lower defending and 79 heading. Um, the defence was solid for me, that's really all I can say. It was a very solid defence, didn't really make many mistakes. Um, but the main thing about this defence was the amount of corners I scored. Both of these guys scored loads of goals for me from corners, and you'll see that in the uh, goals at the end of the video as well. I mean, the amount of goals that they actually scored from corners and then I had you know many that came very close as well um, so this team is actually a huge threat from corners uh, it has got a lot of I was about to say it's got a lot of height in these centre backs but to be honest um, as an average I think this team is quite small but to be honest um, you know very very good from corners and uh, I was very impressed by the amount of corners I scored because it was a huge danger um, you know, every time I got a corner, I was thinking this, it was probably a 70% chance of a goal, to be honest. Um, yeah, which I was very happy about, because I like scoring corners, because I'm a twat like that. Um, so yeah, anyway, moving on, we have Armero. Uh, again, he's purely bought because of his pace, really. Um, 88 pace, he plays in the Syria, but I didn't actually need to link um, with anyone who was in the Syria. Uh, but, you know, he has 88 pace, as I said, and he's a Colombian, so he links with Quintero and Pereira. Um, but no, very very good uh, left back, you know, he's got a lot of pace as I said again um, and really he's just a slightly slower version of Abate, he's very good at catching up to strikers and wingers and you know, he's, he can be quite attacking, um, I think I scored a goal or two with him, not too sure, can't really remember but um, he definitely got a couple of assists because of just how attacking he is um, so moving on we have the first centre midfielder uh, Quintero, this guy is a silver f with 5 star skills, um, he has, well, yeah, he has 4 star weak foot, but his left foot is actually extremely good as well. Uh, he's only 5 foot 5, which isn't too great, but he does seem very strong. Um, and I've used him before, and he's been absolutely amazing, you know, I use him centre attack him in centre forward. I haven't used him up front, but believe me, I really want to get a team where I can use him up front, because he's so good. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't recommend playing him where I've got him playing at the moment. Uh, he did score one or two goals, but, you know, he didn't really get involved too much. Um, you know, I, I couldn't really see him much in the game, and I think that's simply because of where I was playing him. You know, he, he 
did stay back quite a bit and he's not that useful when he's uh, you know back trying to defend I'd like him just to be up the pitch all the time to be honest um, but yeah Quintero I would definitely recommend him just don't play him uh, central midfield uh, this guy is Guarin. I haven't tried this guy before, or I have, but not really too much. Um, I got him again because I wanted to use him in this kind of position, because I used him in like weird positions when I'd had him before. Um, basically, my friend had him and said he was really good. In my opinion, he's shocking. Um, his shots are amazing. I'll give him that. His long shots are absolutely amazing. But other than that, really, he was a bit slow. He has like, two-star skills. He didn't do much for me, you know, I, I don't know, he was probably the worst player in the team if I had to give that uh, status to someone, so I won't be getting him again, but you can try him out, um, my friend said he loved him, so I don't know, he'll probably be getting him again in a different team, but yeah, Guarin, not for me. Um, then the final centre midfielder is Marquisio, this guy is just an all round good player, you know, he's got decent, well, high pace really for a centre midfielder. Uh, good passing, good dribbling, decent defending as well, you know, 76 defending, well, actually, again, good for a midfielder. Um, you know, he's just a very good player in 77 shooting. He goes forward, he comes back. Um, you know, if I had to play him anywhere, I'd play him in the middle, but obviously I couldn't because of uh, chemistry links and stuff. But, yeah, I really do like Marquisio. You know, there's nothing that he's ever done to stop me from buying him again. I've had him countless amount of times. Um... And, you know, I chose him after, like, uh, or over people like De Rossi and Pirlo and stuff, simply because, in my opinion, he's better, um, at least for the position I wanted to play him in. Uh, moving on to the centre forward, we have Vargas. This guy, I basically got the team because I wanted to get Vargas and Quintero in the same team. Um, and Vargas is actually one of my favourite players in this team. He's got four-star skills and five-star weak foot. Um, and obviously because he has 5 star weak foot, his left foot and right foot are just both incredible really. Um, his shooting is great, he feels faster than 79 pace and his dribbling is really really good. You know his ball control, he keeps the ball so close to his feet. Uh, he's probably the best player in the team if not one of my strikers. Um, you know the front three are probably the three best to be honest and you know he is really really good I, would, I mean I will be getting him in other teams in the future I can guarantee that uh, the penultimate player um, my first striker is Mbokani or Bokani or Mbokani I don't, I don't even know you pronounce it however you want um, but he has 84 pace 83 heading he's very tall uh, 75 shooting his shots are quite good but you know um, they could be better I, I, I will say that I'd say 75 is probably about right but he's 6 foot 1 and he is a very good player um, yeah you know I mean he's quite fast very strong I'm not even sure if I already said that but yeah I mean he's kind of shadowed by uh, my, my other striker simply I'm not sure if it's because of the side that I play them on you know because they're both right footed but I, I don't know he, he's he's good but not as good as this guy, but not fucking Vargas, well he's probably not as good as Vargas as well, but yeah, he's not as good as Syriac. Um, Syriac is probably the best player in the, in the team, uh, I would say he's better than Vargas. Uh, he has 89 pace, 70 shooting, his shots are probably, yeah, I, I'd agree with 70 shooting, he misses quite a lot of chances, but he gets so many, which is why it really doesn't bother me. Uh, 75 dribbling, um, it does seem better than that as well. He is 5 for 8, quite strong if I have to be honest, and you know, he, he scores absolutely loads for me. Um, you know, yeah, he's a very, very good striker. Um, as I said, best player in the team. And yeah, that about sums it up. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and bye.